Richard in Gloucester, which I'm guessing is in the UK somewhere, he writes, Paul, I am discussing uh, DSD with my friends, and in the past you have said, and I'm paraphrasing here, that when looking at the DSD signal, one can see the waveform in that the density of ones is analogous to the peaks in an analog signal. Also that one can essentially low pass filter the signal and amplifying it to get an analog output. Does this mean that DSD could be seen as an analog signal in its own right, even though it's comprised of zeros and ones, rather than magnetized, oxidized p uh, particles of vinyl and grooves? Yeah, I, I know people get very upset when I say this because it, Actually, I don't know why people get upset when I say this. The whole world is made up of bits. Everything. I mean, if we're going to get metaphysical on each other, you know, I'm made up of little tiny bits, right? I am not analog. I am not continuous. And you aren't either, nor is a photograph. A photograph is made up of little pixels. And a movie is made up of single frames. Everywhere you look, the idea of analog is false. The idea of analog is an illusion. And I think that's important to remember because it's only our view that appears to be continuous. So when you run, let's, let's, let's take well, if we just take single rate DSD, which we, which we call DSD 64. So there's 64, 128, 256. Those are just, and they're, they're running at um, well, about three megahertz, 2.8 megahertz is what DSD 64, single rate DSD is, let's just call it three million hertz, right? What does that mean? That means within, um, within one second, three million things happen. There are three million transitions that happen. If we were at 256, um, that runs at about 11.8 megahertz um, uh, per second. So it's, it's million times per second. Okay, so that, I don't know about you, but if we just went back to the DSD-64, Trying to imagine squeezing three million anythings into one second is hard. Now, if we go back to digital audio, where we have 44,000, a CD, 44.1 kilohertz, okay? That's 44, 100,000, just 44,000 samples happening every second. And that's even hard to imagine. Right, because if we look at it with our naked eye, we're going to see that as continuous. It's way too fast. I mean, our eye, anything over about 25 times a second, looks to us to be continuous. We just don't have the acuity to to sense things that are any uh, uh, faster than 25 or 30 times per second, which is why movies run at about 24 frames a second. So, yeah, the Difference being, and we've talked about this before, PCM is an in, in encoded um, format to where if you look at it and you put it on a scope, it just looks like uh, a stream of noise of, of ones and zeros moving along. And if, the, if Beethoven's symphony is going up and down or there's a total quiet period, it looks pretty much the same. You, you can't tell from a PCM stream what's going on. But a DSD stream, you absolutely can. On a DSD stream, because it gets its pulse density, it gets denser, more ones within a certain period of time, and fewer ones. And as you look at it on a scope, when it's slowed down, and we can only do that basically on a scope, right? On a scope, we can, we can kind of slow it down and take a look at it at a speed that our eyes can see, we see these groupings of loud and soft, loud and soft. And yes, all we need to do is run that through a low-pass filter. In fact, we don't even need to run it past a low-pass filter. You can take DSD directly into a speaker and it'll play music. You can't do that with PCM. 
So, yes, uh, it is, in my opinion, analogous to as close to analog as you're going to get, and that is DSD. Okay. Thanks for the question. I hope it helped make some sense. <laughs> Take it easy. Thank you.